welcome back to my channel thrifty mommy so if you saw from the intro of this video i'm going to be creating my very own diy 100 envelope challenge first of all i want to thank designer jen here on youtube and gina schweppi over on instagram for giving me this great idea i'm actually going to be creating it myself with a couple of items from the dollar tree and from hobby lobby it's super easy to make and i'm going to give you guys the step-by-step -step instructions in case you guys want to go ahead and do your very own box after your box is completed and you do your 100 envelopes you will be able to save a total of five thousand and fifty five dollars with all 100 envelopes which is amazing and super easy to do so i'm going to show you all the items we're going to need i'm going to have those linked down below in the description of the video with the exception of the ones from the dollar tree in case you guys want to pick up the same items you can go ahead and do so so let's get started let me show you what items we're going to be needing first item you're going to be needing is a clear box i picked this one up over at the dollar tree in the teaching tree section i really like it because it has the snapping ends and a pull out top they also have one similar over at walmart it's a little bit more pricier not too much but you can pick it up over at walmart if you don't find these over at the dollar tree but it needs to be wide enough so your envelopes can fit so this one is perfect for the diy envelope challenge so you're going to pick up one of these Next, you're going to need some type of labels. I picked these dotted labels over at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. I'm just going to put one on each envelope and put the numbers, the corresponding number from 1 to 100. If you have a cry cut, super easy. You can make your own numbers and make maybe make a decorative kind. But I went ahead and picked these up. I do not have a cry cut. And it's super easy. You just write in the number. So you're going to need one pack of these labels for your envelopes. Next, you're going to need some type of decorative paper or cardstock. I picked this one up over at Hobby Lobby. This is actually cardstock. It is a little bit thicker than picking up just a decorative paper design. But this one was a pack of 60 sheets for $6.99. It really depends which pack you pick up. If you pick up the larger pack of cardstock, you can make more envelopes. This one will actually make two envelopes out of one sheet because you're going to cut this in half, fold it. It'll make one envelope here and one envelope here. But you get 60 sheets, different designs. And I'll show you a couple of different ones. They're super pretty. And there's tons of different designs to choose from now when you're picking up your paper or card stock at Hobby Lobby make sure they have a sale I picked this up when it was 40% off so I paid like four dollars and change which is a really good deal and you can save a ton of money just by getting it when it's on sale and finally you're gonna need your laminating machine so I got this one off of Amazon I really like it because it has a storage area where you can actually put your paper cutter which is this one right over here it also has some rings for whole punching you also have here your um hole puncher and then it also comes right over here let me move it over for you guys it also comes with the edger so it's super cute and it's easy storage so you can definitely put everything away it doesn't take up so much space and yeah I love it it's really nice I got this for about I believe it was less than $40 and it actually had a $10 coupon. So if you guys are interested, I can link it down below for you guys. But it does close up when you put all the items in. It does have a push button to push on and off. It has the cold setting and the warm setting. So you're going to need this. It also came with sheets. So let me show you guys the sheets that it came with. So it came up with a couple of different sheets. We're going to be using the larger sheets here. Because we can put a total of about um, six cards here and push it through the laminator to make our cards so you're always going to want to use the larger sheets on here but it did come with a pack of different sized sheets with the laminating machine as well so i'll have it linked down below if you guys are interested in purchasing it first thing we're going to be doing is ripping out our sheets to create our envelopes since this is 60 sheets six by six inch and it doesn't make two envelopes we need 50 of these sheets in order to make our 100 envelopes now i did do a couple of envelopes ahead of time i did rip out three sheets and made these envelopes already so all we need is 47 of these sheets in order to complete the 100 envelopes so let's get started ripping out our sheets to create our envelopes and i'll be accelerating the video so that way you guys are not seeing me just rip out these sheets one by one
of the 47 sheets when I got towards the end I went ahead and pick and choose the designs that I wanted to go ahead and keep for my DIY envelope that's kind of the way I wanted to go ahead and do it just pick out like the prettier designs out of the ones that I wanted to go ahead and do so these are the 47 sheets that I'm going to be using now for every sheet you're going to cut it in the middle you're going to measure three inches and cut you're going to need your paper cutter so I'm going to be using this one instead of the one that is in the laminate machine and um, I think this one is like bigger and it gives me more space so you're going to measure out you're going to put your cardstock and you're going to measure three inches which is right over here so you're going to measure your cardstock at three inches lay the flap down and then you're just going to cut across and then you're going to have two separate pieces the same size which is three inches which is perfect so you're going to cut all of your sheets that way now after you cut both of these what you're going to do is you're going to fold it towards the middle like so fold it in half like this you're going to have it folded and then the ends what you're going to do is you're going to grab something that can flatten out your edges you want to have them as flat as possible so your envelope doesn't stay like this when you are passing it through the laminate machine because once you put it into the laminate the laminating paper and you want to put it through the machine you don't want to have this pocket right here you want to avoid bubbles so you want to do this and i'm just going to grab something i have here it could be anything i'm going to grab this um earbud case and then i'm just going to flatten it out flatten the edge and as you can see as much as you can as you can see it does not open as much anymore this is perfect this is what you want you can continue to flatten it to make sure it is completely flat but this is how your envelope is going to be when you have them all completed so I'm gonna get all my envelopes ready at least six of them so I can show you guys how to put them into the laminating paper all right, so here are the six envelopes that we have made with the three sheets of paper we cut them in half folded them we flattened the edges as well as you can see they are nice and flat and ready to go we have our laminating paper so what we're going to do is on the edge this is the closed edge you have the opening right here so on the closed edge you're going to open up your laminating paper and you're going to put the closed edge right up against the laminating paper. Make sure to leave some space at the top and make sure it is like even and it's not like twisted or anything. So this is what it's going to look like. You're going to continue putting your envelopes in, leaving some space in between each envelope. So it should look like this. And I'm going to continue to put in my envelopes. what you're gonna have so you're gonna have your laminate paper with all your envelopes in and now it is ready to be put into the laminating machine so I'm gonna scooch it over here as you can see the laminating machine is right here you have to be as careful as possible because the cards will shift as you're putting in the paper <music> after it is laminated I think I did pretty good for it being like kind of like my second one because I did do these ahead but I think that's pretty good so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut them so you grab your paper cutter once again and I just go ahead and cut these first remember you have to look for where your edge were so this is where actually the edge is on each one so the edges are towards the top so I'm going to go ahead and cut this very first sheet right over here. And then you're going to do the same thing for the other ones. 
and now is the fun part so you're gonna go ahead and cut here you don't want to cut too close to the edges because then you will lose your um laminating what i do is i push it through the machine once again just in case if it has any other further bubbles it will kind of like seal it up a little bit more. all right guys so these are the six envelopes we pre-made already so once you have all your envelopes ready to go um, you're going to go ahead and start putting your labels in. Now, what I wanted to mention to you guys, another option that you can do is push it through the laminating machine once again, just so you can make sure that they are sealed. Some may open on the ends. I did have one that did open on one side and it was just because it didn't seal well. So it's an option as well if you want to push them through the laminating machine once again you can so what we're going to do is we have our six envelopes here for the sake of the video i'll go ahead and finish off the other ones later but what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and just label your um pockets right here so this is the top part you can put it wherever you would like if you want to put it up at the top if you want to put it at the bottom any which way that you want so i'm going to go ahead and put mine on the top left corner of it so this is what it's going to look like then what you're going to do is you're going to take either a magic marker a pen or anything like that and you're just going to label your um your envelope so this will be number one so this is what it's going to look like and you can just put your number one there and you're going to further um label the other ones then once you have them all labeled you're going to go ahead and open up your case now for me it's going to be a little bit snug but that doesn't really matter for me um i'm okay with that but see as you can see it doesn't fit like completely in straight but like i said i'm completely okay with that and then what you're going to do is you're going to take your cash so for your number one you're going to put one dollar so forth if you have 25 you're going to put 25 dollars. i would recommend that you put the smallest bills possible so for instance i'm just going to use a 20 dollar bill and a five dollar bill fold them both in half and put them in my envelope so i'll have one through 24 and then this one will be my 25. so you're going to fill all this up to 100 as you can see it doesn't fit like lined up but i guess when you put all of them in there it should fit perfectly or at least they'll all fit in here so this is what your um 100 um envelope box is gonna look like i'm gonna put these in there as well the ones that i already made um so you guys can kind of get like a feel of what they would look like all in there let's put these in there as well so so here's like the stack and like i said once you stand them up you know back to back they should fit perfectly fine and then you can go ahead and close up your box right here snap it closed you can put here 100 envelope challenge if you have a cry cut machine you can make a sticker you can put that here you can use letters from the dollar tree and just spell out 100 envelope challenge you can do that as well or you can just leave this box like this and then just store it anywhere and continue to do your 100 envelope challenge so i hope this video was helpful for you guys and you guys can start doing your 100 envelope challenge it's a super easy way to go ahead and save some money i think it is um just with the hustle and also, and sometimes you kind of forget to put some money away when you are doing your bills this is a great way of just saving some quick money and then when you least expect it you'll have a total of five thousand dollars all saved up so if this video was helpful please give it a thumbs up and i want to thank you guys so much for watching my video have a great day be blessed and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys